without wasting your time, we are going to share top 5 best marine stereo. The product links are in the description and in first comment. The number 5 on the list is Sony Bluetooth. Sony Bluetooth, Sony makes some of the best car stereos on the market, so it makes total sense that the top single DIN stereo on our list is one of their products. This stereo is so good this is the second year it's made the top of the list. There are several good reasons. We like this stereo so much. The marine level protections Sony incorporated into this head unit makes it nearly impervious to the elements. That's essential for a stereo installed in your boat. The last thing you want is a stereo that is supposed to hold up only to have it fail because of a little moisture. This unit has a reputation for tolerating the environment. Another thing that we love about the Sony is the full suite of modern connectivity options. Everyone knows that CDs are basically dead. Why would you want to install a stereo in your boat with antiquated technology Bluetooth connectivity lets you rock your favorite playlist? A front USB even allows you to connect your iPod iPhone or Android device for endless summer playlists. A built-in dynamic reality amplifier helps to produce plenty of power, while Sony-specific mega bass technology gets the lows low without distortion your day on the water gets even better with the included remote control. The two 2-volt pre-outs and a subwoofer pre-out make it easy to expand with an amplifier and a bass speaker. I was hoping for a direct wiring swap with an older Sony radio, but that didn't happen. So I had to rewire from an existing radio set up to this one, which actually went quite well. The mounting carrier for this radio was a little unnerving in the beginning to me, but proved to be fine after I saw how small and light this radio was compared to the old one. I was thinking. I was going to mount a carrier with some screws into my helm and then slide the radio in, well no the carrier just has some push out tabs that hold to the helm and work great. Sound quality and reception are both outstanding. I do not play extremely loud but have cranked it up and do not have distortion usually associated with doing so. The number 4 on the list is Fusion Apollo. Fusion Apollo is ahead of the game in a number of ways. For one it's the first touchscreen marine grade head unit in the industry. Its three capacitive touch glass display is sleek but it also offers a new way to interact with your music and media on your boat. It's a digital media receiver, so it doesn't take CDs, but it's also one of the only head units on the market that also offers Wi-Fi connectivity and Apple AirPlay. So in addition to the standard Bluetooth connectivity that can be limited in range, you can also hook into the unit's Wi-Fi, not internet. While you're out on the water and stream, your music from your iPhone via AirPlay. The benefit to this is distance we tested this feature out in our first look review and tested it at upwards of 50 to 60 feet away with no issues where Bluetooth only would last about 20 to 30. This unit is marked as the best for zone control too because of its ability to almost fully customize up to four separate zones in our test. We used the zones to separate between our interior speakers, tower speakers and marine subwoofer so that we could easily control the levels independently. Additionally, if you combine this head unit with Fusion's link app on your phone along with speakers and an amplifier from Fusion, you can leverage Fusion's custom DSP profiles that are created by the Fusion engineers to be tailored to the amplifier speaker and the setting that the speaker is in. You can read up more about this in our first look review, but it's incredibly powerful. We really like this head unit because it's cram packed with innovative features and it's pretty universal. You can use it for your yacht pontoon, wakeboard boat or even just your dock. It's well priced too for the amount of features that it comes with. The number 3 on the list is Kenwood KMR. Kenwood KMR is their latest marine certified head unit. There are lots of features and specs to like about this single DIN head unit that make it one of our best choices for your boat or even ATV. First thing first, the fits in single DIN openings and is only 4 inches deep. So it will fit in even the most cramped cockpits. It boasts 22 watts RMS per channel through a built-in MOSFET amplifier, too, making it a good choice for a system without external marine amplifiers. 
A 13 band deck will give you in depth tuning capabilities with the ability to control each frequency and tune your sound to your liking. It even features DriveEck, which automatically compensates for exterior noise levels. From a marine readiness standpoint, the KMR is built for the harsh environment. Kenwood uses a conformal coated PCB board to ensure that salt spray, UV rays, and dust don't corrode the internal circuitry that lesser products typically fall victim to. The front O-in port and USB port both feature sealing covers to prevent one of the most common sources of damage to marine radios too. Experts recommend installing this marine-grade radio head unit in a watertight enclosure to maximize protection. The number two on the list is wet sounds. Wet sounds gauge-mounted units are all the rage these days. They provide a much cleaner look than many of the single DIN units because they don't look like you borrowed your car stereo for your boat somehow. Manufacturers like Wet Sounds have been able to cram all the features you want from a full size stereo into this compact design that mounts in a three gauge opening. The WSMC2 is both a simple design and a complex powerhouse of features. It features simple and secure Bluetooth pairing in addition to USB and O ports in the rear. The AM, FM and weather band capabilities make this one both great for listening to your favorite playlist and excellent for staying ahead of the storm. For all its compact size, the MC2 still features 50-watt power on four channels and has pre-outs for both front and rear speaker add-ons. You can also wire up a remote transom control sold separate. The TFT display is easy to read even in direct sunlight. Of course, none of these features mean anything unless the unit can stand a little abuse on the water. Wet Sounds engineers all their products around the idea they must function in extreme conditions. The MC2 is IPX6 rated, meaning it can withstand high pressure, heavy sprays of water. What is not covered, this warranty does not cover fading or discoloration caused by exposure to sunlight or chemicals such as ammonia, household bleach, or any cleaning the number one on the list is Pile Bluetooth. Pile Bluetooth, think you can't get a really good stereo for your boat for around, think again and check out this marine unit from Pile. It is surprisingly powerful, surprisingly equipped, and surprisingly low priced. Pile rates this one at 300 watts max, but users report that it blasts like it has 1000 watts behind it, it is Bluetooth ready and can be controlled by iPhone or Android devices USB South Dakota and O plugs are up front and RCA pre-outs are in the back. This stereo is a single DIN unit that will install just like a car stereo. The excellent price point of this stereo may make you think you are getting a piece of junk. Even some reviewers commented on the lightness and seeming emptiness of the unit. When you get it installed, your mind will be blown by how good this stereo sounds installed this to replace a failed stereo in my pontoon. All I really want is Bluetooth connectivity so don't care about any of the other features. It wired in easily to my existing harness one word on that though. Other reviewers have wired the yellow and red leads together to prevent the stereo from draining the battery when the boat is not running. My boat has two leads on the harness one switched hand, one with power, all the time for now I wired it as per directions. I'll probably go back and put a marine switch on the yellow wire to prevent drain. No biggie though. Installing the DIN sleeve into the existing hole in the dash was easy, but the stereo itself does not seem to lock well into the sleeve. It will come out with a fairly gentle push. I wanted to connect a rear support strap, but there was no screw provided and I'm not sure of the size. Not a huge deal, but I'm gonna have to go searching for the right one. Once installed, it fired up right away. Easy connection to the iPhone through Bluetooth. Great sound and seemingly adequate volume overall, I'm pleased with it, especially for the price. Contrary to what others have said it is a marine unit. While not waterproof, by any means the case is plastic coated, there are plugs for external connections and the circuit is lacquer coated. I'll update this review if I have future problems, but so far it's doing what I want.